<laughs> but yeah, I think uh, I think we've gotten a little bit too PC, like, and I think that it's a problem, right? Because the problem is you're taking away the person's ability to laugh at themselves, which we really need, right? And uh, I have a story I'll tell you, which to me really captures what I mean about being like a little too PC, which is I have a friend uh, who has two hook hands. And you guys got silent, but maybe somebody in the back who was brave was laughing at that, right? Someone in the back might have been laughing. And that's okay. It's okay if you laughed at it because it doesn't mean you hate people with hook hands, right? It just means you didn't think I was going to say hook hands. That's all. That's all that means. So the first time I met the guy, I also didn't expect a hook, right? It sort of, you know, kind of took me aback because he shook out the hook and I didn't see that coming. So I was like, huh, you know, what do, what do I do in this situation? I'm not sure. Like, I've never been here before. Do I shake the hook? Do I not shake the hook? Do I hang my jacket on it? I, I'm not sure. So in the heat of the moment, I just decided I'm just going to pretend everything's fine, right? Just bottle up my emotions. I, I shook the hook, said, nice to meet you. And I walked away. And then I had a friend who was a comic, and he was on the same show with me. And then he got the hook. And when he got the hook, he goes, what the fuck, man? What the fuck? You got to warn a guy. You got to warn a guy before you just shove your cutlery in his face. And I was like, that was the right reaction. <laughs> That's how I wish I had reacted, right? Because immediately the guy just looked so at peace, like, thank God someone's acknowledging the reality of the situation, not bottling it all up inside, pretending everything's fine. And we all had a good laugh and got on with it, right? So I feel like the moral of the story is if you're ever uncomfortable, just freak the fuck out, <laughs> make a big scene, and just get on with it. Because... We're all human, right? We're all human. We all have flaws. We have to be able to laugh at ourselves, you know? Yes. That's what I think. I'd say my, the thing that I battle is depression. And uh, I think that depressed people have, ha have a, had, I think it's been a hard time to be depressed right now, right? Yes. Are you guys, yeah, you, they're clapping. If you're a depressed person, this has been an even harder time because we used to be special. <laughs> right? We used to be special. You could call up a friend and be like, I'm so depressed. And your friend would be like, why, Erica? Tell me, what's going on? And now you call up a friend, you're like, I'm so depressed. And they're like, yeah, Erica, everybody's depressed. And you're like, no, but like, I was depressed before all this happened. So I get like extra points for that. Like, I'm like doubly depressed now. And your friend's like, no, Erica, we're all flatlined with the depression. Like, we're all equally depressed now. The entire world is depressed. You're not special anymore. And then you're like, great, now I'm even more depressed. 